Alright, what's good guys? We're out here. We're gonna play some UU. Because I've realized we gotta spread the good word. The good word of who? Well, <laughs> I think you can tell. Let's pay a little bit of attention to the music. So, we got this team from good buddy Martha. It's got this Celebi. I don't know what these EVs do, but surely they do something. We got Scarf and Teleon. It was modest, but I was told to make it timid if I didn't want to be outsped by plus two barb. And since you use suspect testing axers right now, naturally all I'm going to face are dual screens. We got offensive wheezing. We got this Escavalier, which surely these EVs do something. I think the speed is for like well, that'd be like base 40s or something. It'd be whatever Clefairy's at, I believe. We got the man himself, Poggeru. N nice choice, Bandit Poggeru. And then we got this boring old... Wow. Yep, these E... <laughs> yeah, these EVs surely do something. Also, seeing Red Carrier's base 40, if I were to do that, it's more like it probably is base 35 that Clefairy's at. Yeah, honestly, I don't expect to win a single game, because I don't know anything about UU. And if I just run into tryhards trying to get their Suspect Rex, well, you know, odds are I'm going to get royally fucked up. But at least this game is not against that kind of build. He doesn't even have a Stealth Rocker. Oh, this is this has gone almost. We've already won. The game has just started, but we have won. So I noticed a distinct lack of Pogaroo checks to on this man's team, so I'm going to lead with Pogaroo. Unfortunately, he led with the Pogaroo check. Yeah, there's no way I'm faster than you. But we do have Poggers. We can go to him. I think I can just press Sludge Bomb here for free. He goes for Steel Wing? How dare you! I'm going to the Pog here. Yeah. Nice dodge. And, oh, not bad! We already won! <laughs> not bad! <laughs> Alright, we got our first win. <laughs> oh, boy. Ah, yep, here, here's, well... Is this dual screens? Is there's an Obama Snow? And I know that gets Veil. I imagine that would be the Veil set. I, I'm assuming they'd run this. I don't know, is there, like, something with dual screens I could run instead of just Obama Snow with Veil? As I see a Blastoise, that could be Shell Smash. I guess Gardevoir could be like Calm Mind. Huh. Pangora does not outspeed max speed of Bomba Snow, unfortunately. This sure as hell doesn't. Hmm. I like Inteleon as my lead, because I can at least U turn versus this. So I could reposition myself pretty well. Yeah, this Bomba Snow is a little scary, but I do have a Stavalier. That took zero. Wow, you suck. Alright, he went for Leech Seed, so maybe he's like, got a lot of HP, that makes sense. We're not, we're gonna knock here, as I predict Chandelure, like, no to come in. And if he stays in, knock is at least an okay mid ground. So we get to knock off this thing's lefties, that's pretty good for me. Um, this could have Energy Ball. Oh god, Chandelure, you are a terrible Pokemon to face. I'm gonna go Inteleon. Okay, cool, they Wisp, that's fine then. So if they were to stay in, they'd probably be pressing Shadow Ball, right? I'll just Surf. If they go Blastoise, I go Celebi. They actually go Surf Fetched. Well, I don't feel like taking a first impression, so even though this thing probably has Steel Wing, I'm still going to go Weezing. Yep, he goes for first impression. And I'm just going to fire off a Sludge Bomb here, because you don't really have a great switch into it with Chandelure being so weak. And since I'm offensive, I'll get to do even more. He actually just goes hard a bomb of takes a million though. Mm, do I stay in <laughs> I'm doing it. I don't care. I'm staying in. I bet I'm faster too. I bet this thing's got no sp I just I just know. I just know. <laughs> oh my lord. Yup. Yup. Alright. Yes, this account literally has no UU games played, so I'm not surprised that these are the opponents I'm facing. 
All right, well, this dude's name makes me very sad. All right. He's got seemingly a real team. He's got Zong and Rhyperior. So is that like Rock's Drawn Zong and then like Choice Band and Rhyperior or something? Because my god, that sounds... That doesn't sound like a fun time. I can kind of pivot around versus it though. My Celebios in this game though. Yo! Once I get rid of that Bronze Zong, ooh! I can at least still U-turn versus him, so that's not too bad. Um, if they were to leave Bravery, how would that be? Would not be the worst. Also, Inteleon has a pretty good matchup once I get um, Stoys removed, or even just chipped. Inteleon's really strong, wow. And of course, Pogaru naturally is going to be very strong. I haven't been able to really get it in much of this team, unfortunately. So I get <laughs> one of the best leads I could get here. I am just going to fire off the Leaf Storm. I, I have learned that it's never worth predicting. And look at this! I get the U-turn and bring in Augaru. <sighs> Immaculate. Ah yes. Oh, you went for Stealth Rock. Oh, you fool. Do I just CC here? I think I do. Because it means he can't, like, yeah. <laughs> Have fun. I am scrappy, so it's not like he can go Chandelure. Not gonna be. Yep, yeah, mm, goodbye. I, I do not know what you were expecting there, friend. I am a Pogaru. I even got, this wasn't even intentional, but I even got the Pogaru name on deck. I am going Poggers here. Again, like, a Steel Wing is likely, but I don't have a switch in otherwise. You can go that here. I'm just going to Strange Steam. If I get rid of the Farfetch, it means he has quite literally not a single switch in for my CC. I mean, my knockoff. I guess Rhyperior would probably take it pretty decently. Maybe even Stoys would. We just fire up the Strange Steam. If he goes Zong like he does, and now we can Fire Blast. He does have Lefty, so it's not like this is some random scary set. He tries the Toxic here. Um, I think we just Fire Blast again. Actually, get away with Defog. I don't think he can actually touch me with anything. Maybe he has like Gyro. Yeah, as so he goes into Blastoise. Uh, he is white. Okay. Is Shell Smash. So I can stay in and I can go for Sludge Bomb. And I know my Inteleon will outspeed. I think this is what we do. Hmm. Maybe I should have just gone hard Celebi because I doubt that I died to Ice Beam. No, I need this around. Rhyperior, I need around too. I'm gonna sack the Escavalier here. I mean, I could also just sack Pogaru, because let's be fair here, when when does it switch in, other than, like, Rhyperior, I guess? Well, yeah, no, it does get opportunities to switch in. <laughs> oh, dear. I'm almost wondering, does Hydro even kill this? I'm not too sure. Really not too sure. Huh. If I were to let him Shell Smash again, I would definitely lose, so I feel like I just have to Sludge Bomb here. Nice. I'm gonna actually take the skull. Yeah, if he shell smashed again there, I think Celebi would die to like Ice Beam. Inteleon would be slower. So he goes into this. Um, I'm going to go into Scavalier here. I feel like you're screaming that you're steel winging here. Or, well, you could also just be CCing or knocking. To be honest, I think a Scav's a pretty fine play to make. This goes for Brave Bird. It does a very large amount. I do not know if you're like choice or not. I don't need a scavalier. I'll just press knock. We gotta make him take a lot of chip. Now we go into Teleon and just claim one with Surf. He goes into his Braveberry. Oh god, that did zero, bro. Come on. <laughs> I'll go to my Weezing. But I think this just lets me get health back with Black Sludge, which is super helpful. And we do actually get to claim that. If he goes Surfetched, I might try Pivoting Rhyperior versus it. But that also kind of sounds like a terrible play, so I don't know if I will. Yeah. So the main reason I'm not too sure about Pivoting Ripe in here is because if he does read that, or if he's just not banded, because I'm... I, I don't care enough to do Calyx. I'm just going to sack this, whatever. I mean, I think Inteleon at this point pretty much claims kills whatever comes in. And yeah, so he knocked.
Now we go to our tele on here. We just nice people. Yeah, so you nice the axers. Um, how do y'all feel about that? I guess I haven't played Yu Yu this gen at all. So I'm just dropping it down so that every. Last time I actively played Yu Yu would have been at some point in Sun Moon. I. Huh. I wasn't a great Yu Yu at all, obviously. I think my claim to fame would have been at one point I was in the 1600s on the ladder. <laughs> I mean, like, let's look at what that would look like here. Oh, actually, well, right now 1600 would be damn good. Is this a Piff ult? Maybe. Yeah, I'm also very scared to run into Piff, like, anywhere on any ladder. I was playing Inu yesterday. I queued into Piff's, like, whack ass stall team. Not even that whack, it actually looked about what I would imagine Inu stall to look like. And yeah, no, I clicked the forfeit button immediately. I had no way to beat that team. Like, the dude is impressively good at building stall. It's really kind of cool to see what he could come up with. So looking at this dude's team, it's like he built Stall with the Umbreon, Garbodor, and Pukamuka, and he's like, nah, let me put some of my favorite Pokemon on there too. And he, So he put on like a Hitmonlee and a Serena, and he's like, you know what, I also just want a Chandelure because it's strong. So, I don't know. I think Pogaru can pretty much just click close combat the whole game though, because Garbodor is not a close combat switch in. I'm gonna let you know that right now. It is not a choice banded Poggeru switch in. He also doesn't have great Rhyperior checks. He's got the Serena, but if I read that with the Megahorn, we can negate that pretty quickly. The main problem is gonna be this Pukamuku. I'm gonna lead Selby. Yeah. Thought it would be pretty no drawback here. I'm just gonna Psychic. If he goes Umbreon, I just U turn, so it's not a big deal. Yeah, I think the goal will be to get Pangoro in. Oh, and he crits me immediately with knockoff. Well, you know what? That probably wasn't ideal. But I also could have just hard gone into my wheezing, so I kind of deserve that. So he is Scarf. We know that now. Uh, um, there's Sludge and Fish for Poison. No, he goes Garb Door. Well, this is free Rhyperior. And uh, for some reason, when I clicked that, I was about to be scared of Will-O-Wisp. He goes for Infestation. That's kind of cool. I'm just gonna Mega Horn here. I don't think you ever stay in with this. Right? I was wrong. He stays in with this every turn. <laughs> I forgot how low on the ladder I am. I should not be predicting. Like, it's not even like meant to be throwing shade at my opponent so much as it is just like low ladder. Predicting's not worth it. Because, generally. Okay, maybe I am throwing shade. <laughs> <laughs> Generally, your opponents down here are not going to be particularly amazing. And so, you get more mileage out of just clicking versus them. <sighs> you're energy balling here, right? I'm still staying in. Yeah, like, I don't know what your set is. Like, I don't know if you're s choice or whatever. So I feel really, like, going wheezing would have just been bad. I'm assuming you're locked into that. And this could just be a losing play doing so, but I don't want two spikes up. I also don't know if I can even win this game. Because of the Pukamuku. And yeah, I don't have a great way of breaking this anymore. I can go into Pangoro. Oh, I see. He's this set. Okay. Well, if you're not block, then we're fine. Hmm. I do have multiple steals that I can pivot between. That's kind of interesting. Maybe that's enough for me to win this game. I would like to be able to poison this at some point with Sludge Bob. That would be really good. I'm gonna go into this here. I'm gonna knock, because if I can get rid of this thing's lefties at least, that's helpful. And maybe he just gives me like hit on least Scarf. He goes for counter there. So I guess he's recovered last game. Okay. Also, that counter did a lot. <laughs> that really did a lot. And we're gonna spire for Sludge Bomb. Yeah, this is not gonna be an entertaining game, though. Um, uh, again, I lost Celebi turn one to a crit. I'm not sure if the crit mattered, but I lost to a crit from Scarf Hit Monthly. Not like I, I don't know what the hell I suppose was expecting from. I, I had a whole ass wheezing and I did not go to it. My God, I don't know why he's not switching. By the way, like this man has had plenty of opportunities to double into the Chandelure. He has taken none of them. 
I'm just gonna keep switching around and getting recovery on my Pokemon. Oh, I just realized I'm really slow apparently. Like, I, I seem to lack brain cells. I was letting my Weezing actually get chipped because he kept soaking it. Yeah, it did a little bit of damage. So we're gonna U-turn here. I think it's the only time I can ever get Pangoro in because he should... He went in the Serena. God damn it. I needed him to go into the Pukamuku. So we're gonna go into this. We're gonna hard double into Pangoro. That's actually a terrible play because I'm sure this has, um, what's it called? Okay, the current high jump kick. I was more just expecting him to you turn out. The crit sucks because now this is lower. <laughs> um, you can go poggers here. I mean, this is like always my play. This definitely dies to Chandelure. Mm. Yeah, so we make this play. We're gonna U turn. That's fine. You can scout this. It'd actually be pretty bad if you went Chandelure on that. Thankfully he did not. There we go. Now we got Poggeroo out. Nice Poggeroo. I'm going to have a better record for it. Only six and a half minutes. Honestly, it felt like a lot longer. So I've been going pretty impressively. Ah, thank goodness he went hard Pukabuku into Poggeroo. That's why you don't mess with Poggeroo, dude. Ah, yes! I don't know why you forfeited. Honestly, I think this man still had ways to win. Well, actually, he would have had to. It would have come down to who. Which of us could predict harder on the other person? Because. If I ever get my Pangoro in versus their Umbreon, they lose a Pokemon at that point. So. It would just come down to how well I can do that. So, look at this man's team. It could just be Webs, because they got the Araquanode. Um, I don't really... Is this Spin Blastoise because you have the web setter? Or are you still just going to be Shell Smash? I really don't know. Thankfully, I have a Levitating Defogger. So, I'm not affected by webs at least. <laughs> That's helpful. Celebi also, again, goes really hard this game. I'm going to lead it again. Except this time I'm going to U-turn versus the opposing lead. Also, this messes up my team pretty effectively. Not going to lie, this is kind of scary. I'm going to go into Poker here. Yep. 1000% reading that play right there. I'm just gonna Mega Horn. They go Blastoise. They're a Rocky Helmet. Okay. We're gonna go to Pog. This should be pretty decent. I am in a Vortex. <laughs> Alright, I have been put in the Vortex. Do I Thunder Wave the Whimsicott? Nah, I think we just leave Storm here. Yeah. We do 31. That's. That, well, that's Chip, I'll say that much. Also, let it be known, they went for Toxic versus my Celebi. Huh. Not too sure that, that was the ideal play from them that turn. So we're going to this. We can knock the Blastoise, just get rid of its helmet. I think that's helpful. Also, if it's Whirlpool, I don't really know what that means. Garrett at 6 of Guavberry, so he will not get that burst of healing. That's good, that's good. Go into my poggers. If this is a guav, I'm assuming you're bulky, right? The rattle summon default here. He has Whimsicott. I mean, you're screaming that you're Christian Psychic here, but I am a Weezing? Ah, I see. They're encoring. Okay. I mean, that's a fine play from. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh no, 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 no. No, no, no. You're. No, no. <laughs> no. You are not subseeding me. I refuse. Oh no, they moonblasted. Already got the drop. Oh no, it's doomed. I'm gonna try to T wave. This is a terrible play. It's greedy as all hell. Ah, oh, but it worked. Oh, not bad. <laughs> I mean, they trace natural cure, so it doesn't matter. But this does let me pivot out faster in case they were scarfed. Ooh, what would you be pressing here, though? I'm gonna go this. Alright. Hmm. I guess I could sludge here. It's fun. They probably go rep here. Oh no, why would you go rep here? You know, just give me Whimsicott here. I'd really appreciate that. Like, Gargoyle is another Pokemon that just 
from what I've read about, uh, like, this I guess is a tangent off of Haxorus. The Garbers Pokemon that I've just read being, apparently is like, really problematic. <laughs> and it's weird to think that, because historically Gardevoir's been pretty bad. I can't speak for Gen 3, because I haven't, well, touched any tier in Gen 3 other than Inu, and I don't really know anything about OU other than, like, it's run by Tar, Rachi, Mence, uh, Blissey, Gengar, that kind of stuff. But, um, it's pretty interesting to see how Gardevoir went from something in there, or something in that gen, to, like, Inu for two gens, I think? Because I think in Gen 6... Wait, no, I think Gen 6 may have still been in you. Well, no. So it got Fairy-type then, so I imagine that was when it went up to Aryu. Gen 7 it was Aryu. And then now it's, like, broken in Gen 8 UU, more or less, because of the changes to the amount of Pokemon available for use. So we're gonna do a Scott Lear here. And I'm just gonna go right back out to Celebi. I guess I can also just go Weezing versus this. The main issue is that he's got a very easy time dealing with that. He just goes Gardevoir. Actually, wait, no, what am I saying? <laughs> but with Celebi out, he just spams his Moonblast until he gets a drop. So we're gonna U here, because I don't. He stayed in. Madman. You mad lad. We're just gonna fog here. I know I'm gonna end up taking over all some chip, but that's okay. I wanna be able to pivot for free. And if it means that I have to be seated, give him health back, that's okay. Very good play from my opponent there by moon blasting. So I guess we can just spam sidekick, but it's fine. It's actually terrible, I'm going losing here. They seed it. My god, I am getting red so hard. Would you like to stop? I don't appreciate <laughs> looking like a jump. <laughs> My god, this man. I hate Whimsicott. Like the annoying thing is is he gets that stupid priority sub. So I can't even like really spam Sludge Bomb reliably. Okay, well that was a bad play from them there. We should have always seeded. I think at least. Oh, thank god I get the crit poison. You know what? I don't think that would kill actually. This crits ignore stat drops. Mm. I'm celibate here. Can we just psychic? That works for me. So I don't know why it says the Gardevoir is paralyzed still, because it traced the natural cure. Um, it's definitely not. Yeah, like, what? Why was it showing up as paralyzed here? So we know this is... It's mystical in. Yeah. Get predicted. It's only out kills. We're gonna edge here. Because it covers the Rotom, covers the Whimsy, covers the Stoys. Well, it would have, but we do end up missing, unfortunately. I'm gonna go Celebi here. He's got Toxic, that's fine. I'm just gonna throw up a T Wave. Because I think if I need the T Wave on Whimsy. Thank God. Oh, that is just. Oh, that's immaculate. This thing being paralyzed now, it means it's potentially disrupted when it's trying to sub. It's a little slower as well than Pangoro now, meaning that if Goro's CC is a two-hit on it, it will be golden. And yeah, we can also disrupt them, like I said. Oh, why is this battle gonna take forever to win? We get a huge hit off of the road, oh my god! Fortunately, my Celebi is very low, but I still have to go to it. Oh, he's Life Orb. Oh, that's not fun at all. I'll press Leaf Storm here. I think that's fine. Actually, no, we press Psychic here, what am I doing? He does hit both Hydros, who's Mans? Yeah, see, this is the unfun part of this game. Playing into Life Orb 
Rotom Wash with Sticky Web support, meaning that I don't really have... This outspeeds, but I don't feel comfortable about pressing Hydro Pump versus this. Yeah, this game is, I think, still in my control. I need to just... Okay, yeah, I think at this point I can KO that with Surf. And in general, Surf spam is looking like a really good way to win the game. Unfortunately, we do not hit Mega Horde. I'm gonna go for it again. Man, come on! <laughs> Why do I get punished for predicting properly? I don't understand. I'm pressing CC here. Fuck off. My god, man. Come on. How are you gonna punish me for making a good breed? Okay, at least I didn't get... Um, what's it called? Frozen. That would have just been saddening. Yeah, like if I'd hit that first Mega Horde, I would have been golden. If I hit the second one as well, would have been golden, but no. <sighs> we, don't, we don't get to hit either of them. It was Gardevoir. Yeah, this is starting to look pretty bad, because my Moonblast switchins are kind of lacking. I'm going to press Knock here, though. And he gives me Poggers as a free switchin. Because I am very convinced at this point that you are choiced. We're actually in a strange steam. I do not know why I would Sludge Bomb. And if he said he's not choiced, well then I... I don't know what I was supposed to do this game anyway. So, his switchin, I'm guessing, here is Rotom? Yeah. So this dies to Hydro Pump. That much is obvious. I need this at a good amount of health, though. I'm just going to this. So watch this repositioning that I'm doing. You ready for this? My opponent's not ready for it, I can tell you that much. Yeah, that did too much, though, not gonna lie. We're gonna U here every time. It just covers the switch. Oh, he went Whimsy, that's weird. That's fine. I'm not really sure if this guard is. I think it's Specs just because he's got the web support. Now, if he were to give me Rotom here, I would not mind. Okay, he gives me Whimsy. I also do not mind that. So he gives Guard War, I go Rhyperior and Sack it. For sure. If he goes Rotom, I go into Rhyperior and Sack it, I believe. Yeah. I'm just trying to make sure he doesn't have a move that he can beat me with. Okay, I guess we can just Mega Horn here. This should die to Life Orb here. Yeah. And I think he's forced him to press him. He goes for me. You know, I'll just force the issue with him right here. See what he wants to lock into. Actually, I should always just surf here. So he decides to lock the Moon Blast. He's actually was Scarfed. Okay. There we go. Wow. This was alive. <laughs> um, yeah, you use a pretty cool tier. I'm just glad I didn't run into anyone suspect lottering because honestly, I wasn't ready to be murdered by whatever sort of veil offense, dual screens, blasphemy I was going to run into. Yep, yeah, that's it guys. Thank you all for watching, and as always, do not forget the good word of Poggeroo. Also, the more I look at how this screen is centered on my OBS, the more I wonder how I managed to think that this was the right way to do it. Should I be like there? Well, I guess I'll see now in the recording if doing that just made this look wrong. And yeah, thank you all for watching, and yeah, <laughs> I'll see you next time.